this is something that is so important for the Central Coast and something that we've been working with the sector on, with the business community for such a long time. A $17.14 million investment in food manufacturing on the Central Coast, which will really, which will create, we believe, about 200 plus local jobs. We know that this is in a community where there's going to be a big uh, growth. We know that local jobs are so important. This is good for the local economy. It's good for food manufacturing. No, that's a big sector on the Central Coast. And Frank Zamet, who's been championing this for uh, over a decade, um, he must be happy uh, with the announcement. I know you made this commitment during the election. So pleased to be able to, in the first Albanese Labor government, to be able to confirm our election commitment to the Central Coast, a really big investment in manufacturing on the Central Coast. Frank, uh, you're head of, um, head of the group that successfully managed to get this uh, this food innovation hub and across the line how does it feel mate it's bloody exciting let me tell you it um it's been five years in the making and uh you know a lot of hard work but uh fortunately yeah we had good support right across the region as well as our, our politicians clearly and uh, and we're there so uh and you know hopefully in another three or four months time we'll start seeing things coming out of the ground which will be really exciting now we never we very seldom see election commitment um budget and then something being dug so quickly so uh, what's, well, yeah, what's well, the genius well so we've had this on the go for a while so yeah. we were ready to go probably september last year yep. and uh but obviously you know working with the developer and ourselves we had to find the funding so that's where you know we've been successful in doing that and so now that starts activating the project so. now, so the federal government are chipping in seven, uh, approximately 17 million dollars yep. to de-risk it all You've got a lot of uh, industry investment as well, I understand. Well, it's the, 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 the person who's investing this is actually an industry partner of yeah. ours, uh, Trendpak. So uh, they're uh, spending probably about 40 plus million on this site. So it's not just our, our hub and, and we're, we've also had it designed to cater for more uh, food businesses within the region and coming out of the region to be able to accommodate those, those people in the complex, as well as you know, providing some uh, support um, in terms of childcare facilities and, and that sort of thing. So it's actually going to be not only good for us, but good for the local community now here the, as well. Now, the, the, the area here is just chock-a-block full of uh, really nationally and internationally known and, and niche brands. The coast is really becoming a foodie spot, isn't it? It is, yeah. Look, and I think yeah. what we've been... Our vision is uh, was to try to make the Central Coast pivotal to the food supply chain for the, for the country. So in terms of that manufacturing base, and, and that's what we're working towards. So we've got the likes of, you know, Sarah Lee across the road here, Mars Sanitarium, you know, Cordina Foods... You know, they're big name businesses that are contributing the bulk of the $1.4 billion yep. output for the region, right, for the food industry. But, you know, we, we have a great opportunity now to play a much bigger role. And, you know, and this hub will actually start, start stimulating you know, the opportunities for business. to move. We've got inquiries now of businesses wanting to move from Sydney up to here and having this hub really excites them. So, you know, we're pretty excited that we'll be able to fill the hub relatively quickly uh, plus, there's going to be other units out the back here that will be also geared for food manufacturing. So it's not just our hub tenants, which is roughly about 10. Now, it could be you know, 20 or 30 right. other small food businesses. Well, I think we'll are, be back here and, and uh, well, we'll, opening it up at, before well, too long. Well, we'll hopefully we'll do uh, some, you know, uh, some, some shots uh, through the progression of the, of the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, no, it's exciting. Oh, well, congratulations to you and your team. Thanks, Dave. All right. Thanks, Dave.